Hey there, it's Bobby Legs and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches and welcome to an unboxing video. It's the unboxing video for the week. Only one uh, watch to unbox this week, so uh, here I have it. By the way, I am wearing my evening watch, my Jaeger and Benzinger. I love this thing. The kids go to bed and then I go to my room and I put this watch on. This will be the third different watch I wear today. You guys know how that is. Anyway, I got something here from my buddy Scott over at Scott's Odyssey YouTube channel. I'll have a link uh, to his channel in the description below and I'll put his Instagram handle somewhere here on the screen. Scott is a great guy. Show him some love. Go over to his channel. Take a look at what he has. Give him a sub. He's a great guy. He's a, a great friend to this channel here and we try to uh, do what we can and exchange watches here and there. Uh, to uh, you know help create contact content and it's about you know it's all about these great relationships that I had so uh, that we have here in the watch community so it's, it's it's awesome thanks Scott thank you so much anyway so he reached out to me and he said do you want to check out his, this particular watch and this particular watch you know I've been for the last year or so I've been wanting to get one into the channel it is a watch made in France um, it is Yema uh, I like I said I've been wanting to get one in I haven't had the chance to do it. Um, I am a Francophile. Uh, <laughs> I, I do love uh, France. I, I love visiting France. I've been there several times. Mrs. Legs has family in Nice. Uh, so uh, we've been there a couple times. Uh, she's been there a lot more than I have, but uh, I just enjoy it, man. I just enjoy the culture. Uh, I enjoy traveling to, to Europe and, and, and all the European countries that I've been to. Not many, I haven't been to many, but yeah, I've been to about four or five and, and, and loved every single country that I've been to. And France is one of my favorites. Um, maybe one day, um, hopefully retire there one day and spend, well, you know, spend half the time there, spend half the time here. Anyway, I digress. I am excited to get this one in. And this is the Yama Superman Diver. And uh, wow, okay. So it's, um, it, wow, it reminds me of like uh, that Oris Diver. Is it? I think it's the Oris 65. Uh, looks got that vintage look to it. It is a uh, 300 meter diver. Okay, and uh, very very cool. Interesting. It's got Yemen has this interesting locking system. I think the way you go, you unscrew the crown, and then yeah, kind of. Oh yeah, you see that it kind of popped up, and then you could uh, rotate the bezel. Nice, nice crisp action to the bezel. Uh, let me see if I have that lined up here a little bit. Um, I'm looking through the camera, so I don't know if it's exactly lined up. Anyway, um, but uh, not too much give there. Very, very nice. Um, let me just screw that back in here. Pretty, pretty cool. You do have, uh, looks like this domed, kind of like a box um, domed uh, sapphire crystal. Very, very nice. Yama symbol in the back there, made in France. Um, very, very cool, um, vintage inspired looking watch. Let's throw this on wrist. Let's get the Jaeger and Benzinger off. We have a little, uh, Germany meets France here. Didn't they play in the World Cup a few years ago? I think they might have. Um, and here you go. Yeah, pretty good. Scott's got a bigger wrist than I do, so I'm definitely going to have to, you know, um, take some links out. But, uh. The bracelet uh, seems, it, I feel like it's gonna be comfortable because you have this nice taper. It looks like it goes from a 20, and I know it goes out here uh, a little bit, so it looks wider than the lug to lug is, um, but uh, maybe that's a 20, 22 at the end, or 24 actually, and tapers down probably to like a, and is that a 14? Six, it's definitely a 16, but maybe it might be even a 14. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the measurements here, so it's all guess. So I'm sure this is going to be a very comfortable watch to wear. Um, I will get into the specs in the review upcoming. Uh, thanks for hanging in there, guys. I look forward to reviewing this watch, and I will see you guys in the next video.